everybody, it's Allison with the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Sorry, I was just jamming out to one of my favorite songs, but what if I told you that today, our science experiment, with a little bit of pressure, we're going to convince a glass full of water to not spill or leak even when we flip it upside down. Stick around, you won't want to miss this, and it's one you can easily try right at home. All right, everybody, the supplies we're going to need for our experiment today are super simple, and they're probably hidden right inside your kitchen cupboard. The first thing we're going to need is a plastic cup. You can see this one here. Nothing really special about it. The one thing it does have, though, is a nice wide mouth to it. You're probably going to want that on the cup that you use at home. And... I have a stack of paper plates here. These are the, the waxy kind. They're a little bit thicker than a normal piece of paper. Something like an index card would work for this experiment or if you wanted to cut out um, a square or a rectangle piece of maybe a cereal box or a thin cardboard. And that's all you need. The first thing we're gonna do is remind ourselves what happens when we flip a cup of water upside down. To do that, grab some water and your cup just gonna like you're pouring yourself a glass here normally when we go and we flip a cup upside down what happens the water pours right out thanks to a force called gravity what if I told you today that our experiment will defy gravity and that we will be able to flip this cup full of water upside down without spilling a drop I think we can do it what we're gonna need is another paper plate, your cup of water, I'm gonna put a tiny bit more water in mine, and just so we can see it really easily, I'm gonna put a few drops of blue food coloring in mine. You don't have to do this, but it makes it easier for our video. What you're gonna wanna do is set yourself up maybe over a sink or even outside. After a little bit of practice, you won't spill water, but the first couple tries, you might end up spilling just a little bit. So. Grab a towel, set up over your sink, whatever you want to do. Here I've got my towel down, I've got my cup of water, and my paper plates. I'm going to set my cup of water down on the towel in front of me, then I'm going to take a paper plate and set it on top of the cup. Now if we just left it like that, it would definitely spill. So I'm going to press firmly on the top of the paper plate right over the opening of the cup. Just gently pressing kind of firmly. It's important that your paper plate is kind of centered over the cup. And then what we're going to do is very carefully take my other hand, reach underneath, grab the bottom of the cup, and I'm going to flip the whole thing over, right? And then I'm still keeping pressure with my hand under the plate. And then I'm going to very, very carefully slowly remove my left hand and look at that. The plate is staying and I haven't spilled a single drop of water. How is this happening? What forces are at play that's keeping the plate attached and the water from not spilling? So knowing that air pressure likes to move from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure is important to know for our experiment today. If you remember when we were getting set up for our experiment, Right, we flipped the piece of paper or the paper plate and we pressed it down and then we flipped it over. It's that extra bit of pressure that we applied to the top of the plate before we flipped it over that allowed for any excess air in this top part of the cup to escape. When we flipped it over, the water then started pressing downwards on the plate, but if you remember, air pressure is applying forces from all different angles, right? So we have air pressure pushing up underneath and pressing down from inside the cup at the same time. But don't forget about our good friend gravity. So we have air pressure pressing upwards when we flipped our cup over and air pressure, but lesser amount of air pressure now because we've forced that excess air out of the cup. And we still have gravity, right? Is pulling down on the water inside the cup. But what we've been able to do is sort of equalize this pressure, meaning that the force from the air pressure coming up 
is greater than the force of the air pressure and the gravity combined coming down. Hence, the paper plate stays in place and your water stays inside your cup. In a nutshell, when we pressed on the top of the plate and then we flipped the cup over, we essentially created a low pressure zone inside the cup. The outside air, the higher pressure, wants to move into the area of low pressure, so it's pushing into the cup, but the paper plate held against the cup was in the way, which is why it was able to stay up and the water didn't spill. Thanks so much for watching and for exploring air pressure with me today. I'm Allison with the Rochester Museum and Science Center, and I hope to see you next time.